So the problem that I present to you is to ask you and to ask me, where are we wrestling with God's presence? Are you here, Lord, in his plan? Why are you doing it this way, Lord? Where are you wrestling with that in your life? There'll be times that you're gonna go through dry moments in your life with God. It's gonna happen. It happens to me as your pastor. It happens to you as a believer. It happens to all of us that we get in these moments that it's just a little bit dry. So what do we do in those moments? Let me tell you what I do in those moments. I try to go back to the beginning days of my faith, the sweet, simple times of my faith when I was a new believer. The first book of the Bible I ever read was the book of Matthew. So I always go back to Matthew. And I just read Matthew. I just get back to the basics. Oh yeah, Jesus, born of a virgin. Oh yeah, miracles, cross, resurrection, disciples, all those things. And go, okay, yeah, let me just recenter my life. I like to go back as well and I'll put on old songs from when I became a Christian, when I was first started walking with the Lord. So I became a believer October 21st. Tomorrow is my spiritual birthday when I asked Jesus to be my savior, which is awesome. So y'all can cheer for that if you like to. Thank you. 1986, off A Leaf Clodine Road in A Leaf, Texas, Southwest Houston. Can anything good come from Nazareth or A Leaf? Yeah, some good stuff could come. And so I prayed and received Jesus as my Savior, October 21st, 1986. And man, I just started, I was, you know, just started listening to Christian music and praise music. I mean, it was just, it was great. So I'll go back and get back to some Michael W. Smith and some Amy Grant and some Twyla Paris and some, some uh, Rich Mullins. And so I started thinking about that. So I put on Spotify the other day, just Rich Mullins Radio, just made this playlist. And I just listened to it in the car. It was so encouraging, all these old songs. And one of them I ran across thinking about this message. I thought it would fit called Hold Me Jesus by Rich Mullins talking about God's will and wrestling with God's will. Surrender don't come natural to me. I'd rather fight you for something I don't really want than take what you give that I need. I've beat my head against so many walls, but now I'm falling on my knees. Oh, when you feel like God's quiet, just go back to those simpler times. Kelly and I got engaged in New York City in Central Park. And every time we go to New York, we go right back to that same spot. It hadn't changed. It looks just like it looked then. And we go back there. Why do we go back there? We go back there to remind ourselves of that engagement night, of that beginning of our relationship towards marriage and all of those things. We talk, taking our kids back there. We say, this is where dad got down on one knee on a rainy night, stepping out of the, uh, the carriage ride, stopping here at this place. And got, dad got down on one knee and gave mom this, this beautiful ring. And praise God, she said yes. And praise God that he didn't get mugged at that moment <laughs> in the night. What was he thinking in Central Park with a diamond? But I did it and it worked out. So now we just go in the daytime is where we go as a family. But to be able to be there, it just is a reminder. It's a reminder. So when you go through those times when you're like, Habakkuk, God, where are you? I'm wrestling with you. Just embrace those simpler times. And maybe it's your heart like mine. You just get back to an easier time in your life that you can wrestle with God, yes, but you can also embrace God. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.